Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I was going through the drive through at Burger King and holy smokers, they've got a hefty brand new item, the Stacker King. You can get this in a single, a double, or a triple because we go big here on the Robert Dyer channel and because it's Wrestlemania 35 now with the demise of the NFL the biggest sporting event in the world we're giving the full trifecta of the triple stacker king here on the Robert Dyer channel here's the wrapper see it says S for stacker I guess well, here it is out of the wrapper. Let's get a load of this. The uh, three flame broiled patties there. Melted cheese oozing out this venom tongue of bacon. More cheese just pouring out. It's like waterfalls of cheese. This is Wolf Pack members only type burger here. Let's take a quick look under the bun here you can see got two very wide strips of bacon the X formation there and quite a bit of the stacker sauce cheese not too many toppings on this they're really emphasizing the stacker sauce in this case hey can you give me some space here I got a lot of luggage this is just uh, too much. The alarms are going off at the Montgomery County Council headquarters. They're going down the poles, but they're pretty out of shape, so it's going to take them a while. I smell that wonderful flame broiled beef aroma. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, my teeth just went through three juicy patties like a hot knife through butter. What's the matter? You've never seen a Canadian before, eh? Well, the bacon, as usual, I think Burger King has one of the best fast food bacon. It's more like that all-American breakfast bacon instead of the Justin Trudeau Canadian bacon kind of ham type of effect some restaurants are going for these days and then behind this wall of beef was a tremendous tidal wave of warm melted American cheese coming out I'm gonna dedicate this next bite to a great American Bob Knight. I saw him trashing him in the paper today. Some of these commie sports writers, they'll never be one-tenth of the man of Bob Knight. Hey everybody, this is Ken Domination with another live stream just for you and just for you. I'm here at the Fukushima airport in Japan waiting for my flight aboard a 737 MAX to Toronto, eh? Let's see who's in here. Who's watching? Marty. Hey, Marty. Jennifer Kopeck. Destiny Tomlin. Hi, Destiny. Peter Pineapple. Hello, Peter. Can everybody hear me? Bart will be Scrivener. What's going on, Bart? Why are you in Japan? Bart, I'm in Japan because we need one more white guy posting pictures of Mount Fuji on Instagram. Ken, where are you? Where am I? I said I'm in Japan. Ken, is your channel failing? Yes, my channel is failing. So is Damn Drops. 
That's why we passed the baton to Reporter of the Week. His 15 minutes will be up soon enough, but by the time his fans realize they've been played for suckers, he, damn, and I will be sipping Cosmos in Fiji with Tony Robbins. Ken, where are you? I'm at your mom's, okay? I'm at your mom's. Look, if you're gonna come in late, don't ask the same dumb questions I've already answered, okay? God! Ken, you sound grumpy. Of course I sound grumpy. I just spent 10 days on an all-expenses-paid Japan trip that you suckers paid for. Of course I'm grumpy. Come on, ask me something else. Ken, where are you? Ken, where are you? Scratch and sniff this, smarty pants. Scratch and sniff this, smarty pants. But uh, look, my flight is boarding, but before I go, I just want to say, oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. I must have ate some of that radioactive Fukushima shrimp. They said it was safe. Government doesn't lie, I'm Canadian. If I could just get on, oh. Oh no, no I sound like Dick Clark in Times Square. Millions of pieces of paper. Millions of pieces of paper. Woo! Well, there's certainly no shortage of beef here. They're, I guess you could say they might have added another strip or two of bacon. Especially given the price, the stacker sauce, somewhat like Big Mac sauce, but it's just sweeter and has a little more sweet pickle in the uh, recipe. So it's not the most outlandish or cutting edge ingredients, but everything works together quite well. It's delivering exactly what it was promised. The price, of course, is uh, you're paying eight thirty nine for the three patties. I think if you get one patty, it's about five, like five eighty eight or something around there. It's just under what I paid for the one patty quarter pounder with cheese. So you're you are getting more beef here. For less money, but it's still a very pricey burger, eight thirty-nine. Then Montgomery County Council greedily taking fifty cents tax for themselves for their criminal enterprises. Ridiculous as usual, but they're keeping nine bunks warm in the Supermax prison for those folks. Right now, I recommend going to Burger King. I'm their streak continues of great burgers and I would like to see one of the more innovative ones I hope soon like the uh, Nightmare King or something like that but for now if you like a Russian dressing a big stack of flame broiled backyard barbecue beef waves of melded American cheese and bacon I think you'll definitely get your money's worth at Burger King with this. I'm going to go ahead and even though I'm somewhat reluctant because it's not particularly new in the ingredients, I'm going to go ahead and give it five stars. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.